So massive changes are coming to Valorant in patch 7.04. Here is the TLDR basically that they put at the start of the document. While patch 7.04 includes its changes to over half the roster, the changes are sharply focused on increasing the game state clarity by making the following adjustments. Reducing the frequency of large area of effect of ultimates, reducing the amount of time utility is active in the world, reducing the HP of shootable utility, and we also believe the ultimate cost updates below better align large area high impact ults with the pressure they place on the enemy, creating both a better pacing of the round defining abilities and a clearer choice competition between high and low cost ults. But now, let's look at the actual changes themselves. But the bootcamp starts tomorrow. I repeat, the bootcamp starts tomorrow. Don't know what I'm talking about? Well, of course, I'm talking about the Gosu Academy bootcamp, the sponsor of today's video, which starts tomorrow. And so if you want access to tier one coaches and tier one players coaching you on all of these things just here, then go and sign up for the Gosu Academy Bootcamp right now. And if at checkout you use the discount code BOOTCAMP, you will get a last minute 15% off your order as well. So if you want to get better at Valorant very, very quickly, then go to the link in the description or in the pinned comment to get better at Valorant. And the Bootcamp starts tomorrow, so go and sign up right now. Okay, so let's start with the agents and we'll start with Breach here. Aftershock, ticks reduced from 3 to 2. Damage increased from 60 per tick to 80, so obviously it can still kill you. Uh, that's obviously a main point, but the Aftershock is going from 3 blasts to 2. That is a pretty significant change. In fact, I think it's a very significant change, and those of you who watch my streams will know, uh, at least at the very top level of the game, I'm kind of out on Breach. I think Breach is not as good as people think he is in like top level play in ranked i still think he's pretty good and this change will matter in ranked but i think in pro play this will matter quite a lot and rolling thunder alt points increase from eight to nine you're going to be seeing a lot of this uh nine cost alts are now in the game some of you might remember that back in the day we got a little leak of a viper whose alt cost 10 in like a little testing thing some of you might remember that. It seems like that has come to fruition with some of these agents as now we have nine cost ults in the game. Um, and yeah, so Breach, bit of a nerf. Not as bad as some of the other agents, but uh, a bit of a nerf there for Breach. Let's go on. We've got Brim here, Orbital Strike, going from seven to eight. Okay, this makes sense. I, you know, it's one of those big, large ults that covers a lot of space i mean they could have done this maybe before but okay little nerf there to brim uh fade prowler time to re-equip gun takes slightly longer after using the ability i'll be honest this one don't really get it don't get why that needed to be the case but okay whatever uh they don't really say how they say slightly longer i don't know how much slightly longer is uh, i guess we'll have to see uh gecko mosh pit the impacted area does 10 damage per second before exploding now this is a good change it means that when you're you know that first bit of the mosh pit i'm assuming it will still do like you know full damage uh anyway right like once it goes for the big explosion but just doing 10 damage per second uh, that's a nice change as well. You might think, oh, 10 damage per second, who, you know, what? who cares about 10 damage, right? Like, what's who cares about that? But the thing is, it's like the Neon Wall when that had a bit of damage as well. There's something just psychological about taking damage and, like, seeing that number go down. That, you know, when a lot of things are going on or whatever, you see your health going down and, like, you, you just start panicking and you just run away from it, right? Like... There is something to that. So even though it is a very minimal amount of damage, and obviously every so often you'll be able to kill someone on low HP, of course, as well. But uh, yeah, I, I like this change. It's just like a little nice little change, but you know, just 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 might give the mosh pit more respect overall. Wingman HP reduced from 100 to 80. That means that it is only two shots with a, a you know a, a vandal. Um, which I guess isn't good, but if you were using Windmank to plant in most situations, you were probably trolling anyway. Uh, so it won't matter that much. And Thrash, Thrash's explosion has had a little makeover to make it easier to see and understand the area it has affected. I mean, that's probably a good thing. I do think that that was probably a little problem, so that's probably a nice fix. Okay, Killjoy has gone from alt 8 to 9. This is obviously a good change, Killjoy. Probably needed a nerf, and so if she wasn't on this list, you know, that would have been a bit of a problem. So, yep, that's absolutely fine. Uh, no problem. Omen, paranoia, no movement velocity imparted when casting. 
I honestly didn't even really know that that was a thing, I guess, but sure, I guess that when, actually, when you think about it, yeah, when you use the paranoia, you do feel a bit like, you know, coming out of the animation, maybe it's just a bit, like, a bit odd, you were a bit off in terms of, you know, how your movement was, so, I, it's like a, it's like a bug fix, really, almost, it feels like that, uh, but, okay, cool, Sky, oh, we got a big old paragraph for Sky, but, uh, yeah, basically, Sky is good, uh, so we're gonna nerf Sky. Uh, guiding light max duration while casting reduced from 2.5 seconds to 2 seconds. So that's going to change how far you can actually send a flash. Uh, which could have impacts on certain maps. You know, definitely like Breeze coming back. That could be a, a big impact on like that map. Pearl would have been a map, but obviously Pearl is going away. So that one not as much. Um, I still think Bind will probably be fine. Although we'll have to test and see, I guess. If you, if you can't flash down B long on Bind. That is a big, big change. But I get, I, I, we'll have to see. Trailblazer HP reduced from 100 to 80. It still does go further than all the others, which I still think is kind of the main problem with it. That it, you just, it just is so much longer than a drone and a prowl that it's just kind of insane. Reducing the HP, I guess, will help in terms of not getting stunned by it. But I still think the Trailblazer is going to be better than the drone and the prowler, and that that's kind of uh, you know the main problem. So interesting change, uh, not necessarily the change that I would have done, but okay, whatever. Seekers go from seven to eight. Seeker health decreased from one fifty to one twenty. Okay, sure. I guess these are you know nerfs overall. Um, yeah, and Sky will be worse. So good, I guess. Not necessarily the nerfs I would have done, but sure, cool. Uh, Sova, this one is mind-blowing. Recon Bolt, total number of scans reduced from three to two. Look, it's, it's, people are gonna freak out about this change and be like, that's the biggest nerf ever. It's not the biggest nerf ever. It obviously is a, it's an interesting nerf. Um, and it will matter, of course. I don't know what to think of this one. I don't know if this was needed, personally, but okay, I guess. Sure. Uh, Viper, Viper's Pit's gone from 8 to 9 cost. Uh, yep, makes sense. Sure. Cool. Uh, and Astra. Blah, blah, blah. Astra, we've noticed a large power disparity between Astra's Gravity Well and her Nova Pulse. True! Our goal is to create clearer use cases for both abilities. So, Gravity Well has gone from startup time increased from 0.6 seconds to 1.25. So it's more than doubled the time that actually starts the kind of animation of pulling things in i guess which is kind of crazy um gravity time duration has also decreased as well so basically just it's worse a lot worse nova pulse startup time decreased from 1.25 seconds to one now here's the thing with this ability to me like this startup time and stuff like that that isn't enough for me to like like, in a post plant, I still think you'll be able to use it. Won't this just make it much harder to predict when you should use it on defense? You know, when you're trying to stop people coming into your site? Won't that be kind of... Obviously, the duration, like, of it will matter for both. Um, but this feels like it'll happen more for the defensive side rather than on that attacking post plant side. I would have thought, unless I'm misunderstanding this. And here's the thing with this change that I think I'm not a massive fan of. Yes, Nova Pulse is kind of a useless ability because the Gravity Well is very good and it's just better than this. So I understand that they're trying to readdress the balance between these two abilities. That makes sense. However, in doing so, aren't they just gonna, isn't this just a, like a general nerf to Astra? Uh, the Nova Pulse goes off quicker, but like not a ton, you know, it's not like an instant stun or whatever. Right? Like, haven't they just made Astra worse when there was, Astra was kind of fine? I don't know. Cosmic Divide. Audio now blocked completely rather than muffled. That's nice, I guess. Cool. Uh, and then Jet. Holy. Wait till you see this. Wait till you see this. Yeah, Jet's a problem. Who would have thought Jet would be a problem? Again. Tailwind. Dash window decreased from 12 to 7.5 seconds. At 12 seconds, Jet could often find value activating a dash without clear intention or make incorrect calls but still have time to find another use for the dash. True. Good change. Uh, like the change. You know, this is more than enough time than you need to dash into a site, but we're nerfing the kind of defensive capabilities. Good. Good change. Like it. 
Uh, and the activation windup has increased from 0.75 to 1 second. So even more so, you're not going to be able to activate and you know quickly get out and use it kind of like an old dash. Uh, so yeah, good. Good change. Like it. Don't like jet. Good. Cloud burst duration decreased from 4.5 to 2.5. Whoa! So I was calling for a cloud burst nerf to only give jet one cloud burst. They've kind of done that in a way because the duration is so small now uh, that, you know, it sort of is that. Uh, I like it. Good change. I, I, you know, in, in fact, they robbed me of a video by doing this. Because I was going to make a video about how the Cloudburst is busted. And if you know how to use it, it's basically another get out of jail free card. But now maybe it's not. Good. Like it. Time to re-equip gun. Takes slightly longer after using the ability as well. And yeah, we want to reduce some of the persistent safety jet gets dashing into or escaping with smokes. True. Good. Nice. Like it. Updraft charges decreased from 2 to 1. Uh, sure. Cool. Uh, won't be the biggest change, but cool. Bladestorm also up to eight. Um, okay, so that's a lot of nerfs for Jet, obviously, as you can see. And yeah, I like it. I know that people like Jet, and yeah, I, I, you know, Jet, Jet's certainly more fun than like Chamber Meta or whatever, but I'm still a bit sick of Jet. So overall, on these changes, so like, okay, they're making ult, like, ult's going to nine. Sure, don't don't really like that's fine. Don't really care. And I think that this started particularly because T like especially like pro teams and whatever finally started to figure out, hey, what if we you know those ult orbs? You know when we make noise in a place and so they know that we're there anyway? And then there's just that ult orb sitting there that we could just take and then like get another ult in this half? Why don't we just start doing that? Pro teams actually finally figured out that that was a good idea. And so they started to get, you know, three ults consistently and a half. And I'm guessing that this is a response to that, right? The, we don't want, unless you're like Phoenix, who's built around the ult, right? Like, unless you're playing an agent who's specifically designed to, you know, get a lot of ults, we don't want you getting a lot of ults, right? We, no, get less ults. We want like one, maybe two ults a half. Right? Like, if you're having a good game, enjoy your second up. If you're not, enjoy your one. Like, that's it seems like what they're going for here. Uh, and, yeah, I don't mind that, to be honest. I don't, I, I personally don't mind it. Don't really care. But some of the other changes, I am a bit kind of like, 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 what's, what's this fate change, you know? Like, what, what's, what's the silver change? What, what's all that about? Some of them I am a bit confused. The astral change, I'm not sure, is great either. Um, so I'm not on board with all of the changes. I've got to be honest. I'm interested to see what people think, because this is this is a lot of changes. And perhaps the biggest disappointment for me, and maybe they're not done, right? Maybe they're not done. Maybe more changes are coming in the future. My biggest disappointment is, you know, we got a lot of, like, nerfs here to Agent Suit. You know, like, Breach. Did Breach need a, did Breach need a nerf? No. Right? In my opinion, no. But we, we've got one. But then there's a bunch of bad agents in the game. You know, where's Deadlock on this list? Right? What? Where's where? Where's Deadlock? Where's the Deadlock buff? Where's a Yoru buff? Where's maybe a Phoenix buff? Right? Where, where's all that? Where are the buffs in this? People like buffs. I like buffs. They aren't there. Of course, by nerfing some of these agents like Jet or whatever, obviously you'll start to see maybe more of those agents, but still, you get the point. Where, where are the buffs? Rito? Anyway, those are just some of my thoughts. I'm very interested to see what people will think. I, I will, some of these things I'll, we'll need to see in action, I think. But yeah, interesting changes across the board. Not necessarily what I would have done with the game. But hey, I'm sure they've tested it. And who knows what's coming in the future. So goodbye.